Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Francisco Valeo Pons, Paco, and Arkadij Najdic. This is a game from European Team Chess Championship, played in 2007. Play with white pieces, Paco was representing Spain, and play with black pieces, Najdic was representing Germany. Paco started with e4. Najdic played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Bishop to c4. Italian opening. Knight to f6. Two knights defense. Knight to g5. Going for Fred Leva attack. Maybe. d5. e takes on d5. Black to move. Knight to a5 is the most played move. Najdic played b5. White to move. Paco played bishop to f1. If bishop takes on b5, then queen takes on d5. So we have bishop to f1, h6, attack in the knight. What is the best square for the knight? Is it f3? What would you do? Paco sacrifice the knight on f7. King takes knight. D takes on c6. Bishop to c5. Bishop to e2. Bishop takes pawn on b5 also works. Bishop to e2 was played. Black to move. Perhaps queen to d5 comes to mind. Knightich sacrifice the bishop. This idea comes from Trexla counterattack. This is check. King takes bishop. Knight to e4. Check. King to f1. Rook to f8. Line in the rook with white. King. White must be very careful. d3. Queen to d4. Threatening. Queen to f2. Checkmate. Queen to e1 defending, but now king to g8, check! Bishop to f3, knight to g5, pressure is on the bishop. Bishop takes knight on g5, h takes on g5. The threat is g4, winning the pinned bishop. King to e2, e4, bishop takes on e4, but now bishop to g4, check! King to d2. Rook to f2 check, king to c1, and now white king is safe in his bunker, at least for now. Rook from a to f8, knight to c3, Paco brings out his horses and chariots. b4, attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Hmm? Paco didn't move his knight. He played bishop to d5, check. King to h8. What now? Paco played h4. What a move. What a move. Can you see the threat? h takes on g5. Bishop to h5. h takes on g5. g6. Why to move? Note that white knight on c3 is still under the attack from the pawn. So how should white continue? What would you do? Paco played. Bishop to f3. Pawn takes knight. Well, Paco calculated very deep and he came to a conclusion that he is winning in the endgame. That's why he went for this variation. Queen takes on c3. Queen takes queen. Pawn takes queen. King to g7 and pinning. Rook to b1. Bishop takes bishop on f3. Pawn takes bishop. And now rook to e8. But white played a move. And black resigned. The move is rook to b7. Black resigned. 
Rook from e to e2 doesn't work because of this variation. Rook takes pawn on c7 check, king to g8, and now rook takes pawn on a7. After rook takes pawn on c2 check, king to b1, if check, then king to a1. The pawn on a2 is defended. If rook to b6, c7, rook to c6, rook to a8 check, king to g7, pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. And let's go back. In this position, instead of rook to b2 check, if rook takes pawn on c3, then rook to c1, rook takes rook, king takes rook, rook takes pawn on f3, rook to a8 check, king to g7, c7, rook to f8, rook takes rook, king takes rook, and then pawn is pushed and promoted to queen check. Wow, what a firework. What do you think of this game? Five minutes after the game, some people came to pack up the pieces. And you know what they say? They said that the smoke was still coming from the board. How do you like my explanation of this game? There is someone who can explain Baku's games even better than me. I know. You think it's impossible, but it's true. Paco can explain his own games better than me because he explains his own thinking behind the moves. You can have access to Grandmaster's Paco thinking if you purchase his DVD, The Paco Method. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.